our son has cystic fibrosis. He was diagnosed when he was just a little bit uh, over a year old. And it was absolutely devastating. I remember we took him to a park after diagnosis and I was watching kids play and I was like, they don't have a fatal disease. Why us? At the time, the life expectancy for cystic fibrosis was approximately 27. You, you just thinking that life as you know it is over and the thoughts of you you know you should never know how your son is going to die all this time later so i've had a time talking about it cystic fibrosis is primarily a lung disease however it also affects other parts of your body such as like digestion growth I first met Stuart at 18 months of age, and at that point, there was no real significant treatments available. We had our basic standard of care, and we put that in place. He had copious amounts of appointments, sometimes monthly appointments at BC Children's Hospital, continuously having updated prescriptions. He would take at one point you know, up to 30 to 40 pills a day. So we did everything that we possibly could, and there's very little about cystic fibrosis that is in your control because bacteria can grow in their lungs and bacteria is everywhere. With Stuart, it was 10 years later when he was able to become enrolled in the clinical trial. And that literally transformed his life and the lives of his parents. Dr. Chilvers called us and he said, Stuart is eligible for the trial and he was randomly selected. Holy moly, we won the lottery. It was better than winning millions of dollars. Trikafta, it's basically this miracle drug. As soon as, you know, had my first dose, a few hours later, we saw significant changes. The day that he had his first pill, and then just say three weeks later, I took the picture side by side, it was staggering. He had color, he filled out. I've been on Trikafta for around three years now. Honestly, I feel like a normal kid, even more athletic or healthier than a normal kid. Although this treatment is not a cure, it's enough to stabilize him and keep him well enough till we get that cured. These trials, they don't happen too often and not everybody is eligible. Because the funding is limited, there are not as many clinical trials and some families I know had been left behind and that is unfair and I remember how that feels. That is why it is so important for donors to give to BC Children's Hospital. If we could expand on the number and types of clinical trials in not just cystic fibrosis, but all kinds of diseases. Who knows what cures are out there? With your funding, your donating, it really helps to get more trials, get more types of drugs, so not just me, but everybody can live a normal life. We can now think of a future where he'll live a full, natural life. <laughs>